<laughs> so Billy, can you tell me exactly where we are today? Yeah, Tato, here we are in uh, beautiful Stoke Golding, the Engine Shed Boxing Gym, which is, um, I've been a member here for for many years now, probably 10 or 12 years. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a gym that um, serves its purposes. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned that when I come in this morning, my face was on one of the punch bags. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite see that one, but I had to remove it. There's, there's been a few new opponents now since you've retired, mate. <laughs> so, you, I've known you a long time, Billy. We've been friends for a lot of years. Um, Your one's actually laid down in the corner now. <laughs> <laughs> you do well to beat that one up. <laughs> you struggled in the past. I did, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm going to try and be nice about it, but it is very old school, I think is the word. Yeah, she's, uh, she's rough and ready, mate, and um, like most of the boxers come here, and then uh, the thing was when I come here at like five, six in the morning when it's starting to get dark, middle of, like start of the year, January, February, and you walk up that dark staircase, turn the lights and all the lights come up here, I do feel like Rocky Balboa, you know, <laughs> doing that extra bit of training before everyone else gets up. But, you know, normally we do classes here sometimes at night time and that, but then obviously that COVID hit where a lot of the gyms and stuff were shut. I'm really good friends with Mark and he just gave me the, you know, the private key for it. So we, we could come here and train and that's where I sort of really got into it. And I mostly train on my own here, so there's no one here to beat me up. I feel like I'm the best one in here. <laughs> it's funny, the, for me, when I used to train, as daft as this is, when training is harder and not nice and... Yeah, a bit more hardcore. You definitely feel like you've got the upper hand on everyone when it's cold and dark and wet. Yeah, you're flicking the light. You know, you're walking out of the house when it's dark and then you get up and you go for a run, like you do a six mile run in the morning when it's dark with street lights on and that, and you're all rugged up. There's something about it because when it comes daylight savings time, you're running around and it just doesn't feel the same. So I do prefer the winter mornings for training wise, but. The main thing we've got to think about right now is the championship that's yeah. coming to a head. We're filming this with four rounds to go, five rounds to go. What are your thoughts for this season? Do you think this is the season for you? Well, I, th I think every I, I think every year, and you know, people, you know, it's, I've always been the bridesmaid in a lot of years where I come so close and lose it. Like last year, we lost by five points. Um, the year before was was wasn't a good year. Super Sport, I've had a few problems, but I feel this year in my head and with my whole team that's developed around me this year after we've got put in um, a position in the middle of Jan to to make a team with my sponsor CNL at Fairburn. And then we teamed up with the Jackson guys. All my personal ones tipped in to make this whole team for us. And we've turned up with a massive professional outfit. And every time I walk into the garage, I feel very blessed that these, these people that I've known have only put in a few grand and a few this, bits that. And it's all come together. And with, from the first round, we put the whole team together within two months. And first round at Silverstone, put it on pole. Unfortunately, had an incident, got taken out in the first one, and then got a podium. And it snowballed from there. So we've got to keep going for wins when they're there. And if they're not there, hopefully try to be in front of the, the, rival, the people that are close to me in the championship. Because as it comes close to the year, as you know, you've got the other kids and other people that want to prove themselves for a ride for next year. Yeah. So you try to get caught up with the people that don't care about what well, your goal is winning <laughs> yeah. a championship. You can easily get carried away in that. And there's your points gone as well. So as much as I would like to win every race, we're going to be, you know, try to be a bit clever, which is hard for me sometimes. Because <laughs> we, we do Basic get, build. Yeah, basic build. It does get a bit excited when the... Uh, when the uh, red flag's out in front of us. So, um, but yeah, you know, when I think about the points and championship and that, yeah, I get a little bit nervous and excited about it because it's nice to be in that championship hunt, you know, it's, and it's good to, to keep, keep that in, in sight. I'm, I'm really enjoying my year. Good. Well, we are in the boxing gym. I think it's time that I whip you into shape with some Rocky Balboa training. Let's do it. And get this championship across the line. <laughs> what, what, what pictures are we putting up on the bags? We've got, <laughs> we've got baby. About, <laughs> yeah, we've got about six bags here we can put some hair on. <laughs> 481, 482, faster, faster, faster. <laughs> 300, one-handed press up. <laughs> Do you want to win this championship or not?